would you like to see growth promoted for the city of Quincy? Um, well, <clears throat> this is a workaround answer like the rest of them have been. <laughs> They're just open, however you'd like yeah. to answer. Um, I think it's interesting because, I mean, everybody knows that we've had these data centers come in, mm -hmm. and uh, most people don't realize that um, how that's been unique, and I compare it to Leavenworth, where they don't have a lot of citizens either, but their dollars are coming from the outside uh, because of visitors, tourism. Ours is a little bit like that. It's, um, it's had these data centers come in. It does have quite a few, they do have quite a few employees, but you do have a lot of people that are from out of the area and it's bringing big dollars in and we as citizens get to enjoy it. We do not have to pay those big dollars of providing services because the big dollars are spent on providing services for your public. Most of them are. And here now we have these taxpayers that are now paying a lot of our own tax. So when it comes to growth, I'm reluctant to say to bring more people because when I, uh, um, I don't know if I want growth that way as much as like, again, back to the amenities for the citizens that we have now. We still want to have jobs. You, if you're not growing, you're dying. I feel like you can't be stagnant. But um, it really bothered me the day that I looked around. I was in a McDonald's at lunchtime, and I looked around, and I didn't recognize anybody. And that hurt because I was so used to knowing everybody. I felt like knowing uh, at least a, a good portion of the community. And that's what we have. We have grown a, a lot. And um, so I'm really reluctant on what to see grow. So that's why I'm, I'm a little reluctant to give you that answer of, I, I think it's mostly along amenities for our community. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. You kind of already caught into the next question, which was what should the city do with the additional revenue from the data centers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, that's exactly right. Uh, we've already invested well into our pots, um, you know, the reserves because, and, and our, our community needs to understand that you know, when we're investing into a police station, a library, animal shelters, things like that, because this growth is not, probably not gonna be continuous. And the money we're using to build the, this is one-time money. It's the taxes, it's the sales tax from when they build. So now once they're billed, then you do have replacement costs of things in there, but you're not gonna have that same growth tax. So we gotta take advantage of those funds, get our, Infrastructure up good uh, uh, and strong. We're replacing main lines again, we're uh, utilities, and uh, we're doing it while we have a chance. So I think we're, we're, we're doing that wisely, uh, building it while we have, and because we could be another 50 years before we really see a growth, growth spurt like this again, and we'll have to just maintain. Okay. There was a, a number of changes and of course, contract issues with Grant County Fire District 3. Mm -hmm. So the open question is, uh, where do you see the future of fire protection service for mm -hmm. Quincy to be? Well, um, I'm one of those that, <laughs> um, I have been very proactive, and I, I know some get frustrated with me, but I, um, I, I'm one of those guys that I feel like we need to be working together. And it really bothers me when I see, uh, you know, some from our side and some from their side. And this is, I'm talking about the hospital too. We see the same issue there. And we see these kind of knuckles coming together uh, because of something that somebody did years ago or maybe that they're mismanaging something here, but they're doing a good job here. And we can't be dogging on them. We can't be um, spreading hate and discontent about them. We need to be working together as a community because if we lose those things, places like where I work at Lamb West and ConAgra Foods, we're very dependent upon that. So my job is dependent upon that, and everybody else is. We can't lose it. And so we need to work together. And um, so where I see that going is we need to continue to work together as, uh, to find a solution and it's not all up to them. We need to be helping. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And that, that I'm going to take advantage of your answer to, mm -hmm. to ask you about how you feel about Quincy Valley Medical Center mm -hmm. and its situation in relation to the city. No, that, that's, a, that's great. I mean, we, as part of that leadership group that met the other night, um, that's uh, inviting uh, Confluence Health to come in and give us an answer, give us a proposal. 
Um, I'm a little um, scared that, of what that might be because uh, they really don't want, um, they don't come in and take over your facility. They'll probably come in and take over another facility and build their own deal. It'll be a whole other entity. Um, they, from what I understand, again, they, they don't, they don't take on emergencies, right? They're, they're taking on the, the business that's profitable. They don't take that long-term care. Um, we have a lot of people that go, well, why can't we use the clinic that's just as you're coming in from the uh, south of town there, why, um, the Moses Lake Clinic, why can't people go there for emergencies? And it's just, they simply don't handle emergencies. We have to have the emergency care, especially for our businesses and our, and our people that are there that, um, you know, you'll lose somebody trying to get them to Wenatchee or Moses Lake. And so we have to have the emergency care and our worry about confluence health. So we need to work together on uh, helping to preserve our, our hospital. Okay. How do you feel the city is doing financially with all these different uh, aspects that mm -hmm. we've been talking about? Do you feel it's in a good shape or it could improve? Or? Real good. And I, I'm proud of what we've done, um, again, uh, stocking our reserves and building, again, the infrastructure. And it's not just the infrastructure we're talking about under the roads. I mean, it's, it's, it's taking advantage of and uh, building up uh, newer police cars. It's, it's uh, getting the technology that we need for our police. Um, you know, again, a library, an animal shelter. We would have never been able to do those kind of things. So. Um, we're trying to build up, uh, you know, City Hall. We're going to rebuild City Hall um, as we go forward. And um, because, again, we could be 40, 50 years before we get that opportunity again. So we, might, we better take advantage of it now because it may not be that long. And yet we still uh, maintain a good reserve. Okay. How do you think the city could improve on outreach to the public to involve mm -hmm. them in issues and discussions at council meetings? Yeah. Uh, that's one of the most disappointing things about city council, to be honest, is we're there. We're always there the same times, you know, first and third Tuesdays, and um, we actually awarded uh, my wife and the police chief's wife and our uh, one of our engineering team, a public works team, his wife. The three wives are, are our biggest cheerleaders. They come and they're almost always there, and we, we have a few here and there, but um, it's unfortunate the, the the few people that do show up unless they got this big complaint, and then uh, when you have major things you're deciding upon for the community for the better of them. Granted, they voted us to be responsible and make the right decisions, but um, it would be nice to see have have a little more of that support and uh, see them there. But uh, uh, the communication part, um, uh, I'll be honest, I'd, I'd like to see something um, a little more in the paper. Uh, we have been pushed to try to put articles out there, um, but um, I, we went through, I worked on, the, I served on the uh, community center board for many years and went out and we obtained a, that electronic billboard out there that was through a donation and um, something like that. It would be nice to be able to put up you know, notices that of the, uh, things regarding the police department or I know the best used has been our uh, recreation has been, you know, announcing pool activities and stuff like that. But we have a phenomenal recreation director and organization that has so many things going on for kids. If people really want it, they can do it. It's going on all the time. So we need to advertise it all more. Well, we'll be glad to do what we can for so. you. I'm down to my last question, which is one I ask every official that's running for okay. office. Some of them think it's a little mean, but I think it's just a great open-ended question of uh, uh, why should voters vote for you? Um, and I guess I'll spin it back to my first comment is I do it because it's, and I don't want to say make it smell, sound small because I say it as a hobby. But it, it is, people do hobbies because it's something they love. And you know, it's, it's something they enjoy doing. And that's what drives me is, um, it's something that I enjoy. And I do it with my heart and uh, I care. Um, we'll leave committee meetings and I'll drive around and go look at the things we just finished talking about uh, so that I, I don't have to just look at pictures and go, okay, that's the problem. But I wanna go see it for myself. 
And um, um, if you look at in the record of any of the council, um, it's uh, I take a, a lot of vacation days off to run to uh, Seattle or to Olympia, you know, and fight for things that we want. I go to uh, evening uh, uh, conferences away from here, Yakima, uh, uh, Tri-Cities, um, these, um, because I, I want to know what's going on. And um, I, you'd have to go pretty far to find another council member that goes to as much extracurricular activities that you don't have to do. Um, but it's because I, I, I enjoy, I, I worry about not, uh, missing something that I shouldn't. And so it's truly because I care. All right. Well, thank you very much, Scott, for coming in and sharing this information with us. Sure. Really appreciate it. iFiber One News will have more episodes like this on other elections for Grant County. Please take a chance and take some time and watch them before you vote. For iFiber One News, I'm Bill Stevenson. <music>